I'm Josh from the Wine Tastings Guide, and we're tasting another wine from my cellar today. This is a Charbonnier, that's the domain, from Chateauneuf du Pape, and it's one of their uh, single vineyard bottlings. I think it's a single vineyard, called Mour de Pedri, from 2003, which was a really warm vintage in the Rhone Valley. So uh, we're going to try it out and see how it's doing now. You want to try it first? Sure. How do you do this? Do you smell it first and talk about the smell or yeah, do you sure. taste it? However you want. Okay, can I smell? It smells a little eucalyptus y. See that? It does seem like from a warmer year there's a little alcoholic warmth mm -hmm. to it. And actually not a lot else. It's like the fruit is a little faded a little bit. Yeah, it's not great. Let me taste it. <laughs> mm, no, I like it. It's got some spicy leather. It's better in the mouth. It does have an alcoholic warmth to it. It's oh, almost yeah. like a spirit in terms of the little burniness of the of Yeah, the alcohol. this will get me drunk pretty quick. <laughs> but it... Um, it has a roundness and, and like a nice chewy texture to it, but definitely a little out of balance in the alcohol. I, I think probably won't get much better either, either because wasn't this my favorite wine it. ever? Or was that a different vintage? The, your favorite, I think, was the two thousand one, which was well, a better, was more balanced. This is two thousand three. The mm. two thousand one was a better, more balanced vineyard, vintage for Chardonnay du Pop in general. Actually, no, it was the nineteen ninety nine you had, which was a very forward one that was good young. Um, no, yeah, that we was have some of the 2001 time. in the cellar, so that one should be, I'm curious to taste that too, but yeah, this one's a little disjointed and a little out of balance. It's pretty good, though. It's pretty good. How much is it? <laughs> How much is it? Yeah. Uh, when I bought it, I think it was probably around $30 a bottle, no, mm. probably a little more than that, but... Not worth it then. Yeah. I'm a one, star. <laughs> one star. One <laughs> star. Do you do stars? <laughs> yeah, I usually you don't, but I could. One star. One star. 82 <laughs> points. <laughs> I'll give you the points. That's lame. Just do the stars. Yeah. Anyway, if you have them, drink them up. I don't think it's going to get any better. It's a little disjointed and out of balance. It's it's not off putting, but it, it, it does have a little alcoholic warmth to it that's, that detracts from the wine. I think. It's disappointing considering this wine was one of my all time favorites yeah, yeah. in the past. Yeah, this is really the first one that I've done of these tastings that I was just like, eh. Most Sorry. of them have been really nice. This Maybe one. I'm bad luck. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have you around. I'll do it again. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye. Until next time.